right, hello. Welcome to my first YouTube video. I'm gonna try to make this not boring. So my first video is going to be about my Target haul for teacher life. So a little bit about me before we begin. My name is Sarah and I am going to be an elementary school teacher, hopefully soon, at the end of August. 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 At the end of December. So I'm gonna be looking for a job in January. Right now I'm starting my student teaching in September in a first grade classroom. So I'm kind of getting prepared for that and everything, but I like to be extra prepared. So I go to Target to get teacher stuff for when I become a teacher in like six months. Because like, you know, this stuff isn't gonna be here and it's on sale, so why not get it now? Okay, time to start the haul. Every single time I go into Target, I go right to the dollar section first because that's where they have all of the cute little fun things. So that's exactly what I did this time. And it was a little, it wasn't as stocked as I was hoping because I know some of my teacher Instagram friends have been posting their Target hauls and they've been looking for specific things that other teachers have purchased and that they couldn't find them and Target needs to restock and you know how it is. I got three different sets of pencils. These are space themed and then you have mermaid rainbow theme and then fractions which are really cute for obviously handing them out you know during math and these would be like cute for birthday pencils lots of different things that you could use them for then i got these cute little timers they all come in different colors and each color represents a different amount of time so the blue is two minutes the red is one minute and the green is five minutes I thought about getting multiples of each color for like if I were to do group work and stuff like that, but then I thought it would just be better to have one of each for myself to use them as a timer. I just thought they were cute. They were a dollar, so why not? Then if you've heard of Yubi, UB donates, um, it says it right on the front of like all of their products. It says these cards donate one item to a US classroom in need. So UB is a really great brand. I saw, to be honest, this was the first time that I saw the UB brand in Target. I saw that they had markers and colored pencils and crayons. So this is definitely a great, brand to purchase school supplies from because it donates something to another classroom and another teacher who may need it. Oh, so yeah, let me explain what this is. This is a cute little card index card holder and it comes with tabs to organize your index cards. And I just think this is really cute to organize your index cards or even like sight word cards. You wanna act me? Okay. Okay. Yes, I do. <laughs> Next, I got these word strips and they look like lines of loose leaf paper. It gives you ideas on the front for a pocket chart so you could use them for scheduling. So like if you have certain things that you're doing in the morning before lunch, you can use these to write that down and distinguish like between morning and afternoon. So these, I'm very excited about these. And then I got mini ones to go along with it. And this also gives you ideas of like how you can put them in a pocket chart. So you could put, this is saying you could put like a picture on one 
like a picture on one and then what that picture is on the other and have them side by side on the pocket chart. Very excited about them. Oh my God, there's just so much stuff that I'm probably not gonna use for a very long time, but that's okay because I got it and I have it and it just makes me very excited to use it. These are, hello, my name is name tags. And they are so cute because I like how the background is black and then it comes in different colors. So it's pink, orange, blue, and green. And each pack has 96 tags. And they were both a dollar. I was, I just needed to get them. I was gonna get one and I was like, you know what? They're a dollar, you get 96. Might as well get two. Who knows, I might go back and get more. But these are cute for, I mean, I'm thinking of like different ways that I could use like the things that I got. And these are cute for moving around the room and having the kids wear these to interact with their, you know, their classmates. Because if you think about it, usually the kids have their names on their desk and they're taped on their desk. So this would be a good idea to use for group work in the beginning of the school year or just anything having to do with moving around the room in, in the beginning of the school year. These are cute because they're little punch cards. So much, like all of this stuff was a dollar. These are just so adorable and to go along with it I got a hole puncher in the shape of a heart so every time I punch out punch cards it makes a heart and I was thinking about these like for you know handing them out in the beginning of the school year or handing them out in the beginning of a project type thing and punching each star when they complete something out of an assignment or if I see them like do a certain act of kindness I could they get a 10 they get a prize they get you know whatever then I got these cute little birthday badges that they wear on their birthdays they're just little stickers that they put on their shirts but they went really well with the happy birthday cupcake certificate and they were both a dollar so I mean why not? To go along with that, I got reward certificates for, you know, any recognition that I want to give to the students. So it says you're a rock star and badge of recognition too. And then it has a little spot to say what it's for. This was also a dollar. Then I got these get out of homework coupons and also a dollar. You get 30 of them. What I really like about these types of things, like the birthday cupcake certificate and the rock star certificate, is that you basically can never run out of it. So if you're down to one, or even before you start giving these away, just start photocopying more of them. Like keep one aside for your master copy to always photocopy and have for the square. You can use cardstock if it's like, a thicker type of material or just use plain paper and you can hand it out to your students. You'll always have have this ready. I mean, it was a dollar, so it's good price. Then I got these cute little certificates. You get one of each, you get 30 different certificates. These are absolutely adorable. This first one, thank you for having an amazing attitude. So again, you only get one of these. So it's best to photocopy this right off the bat. And it, you literally have this for forever, basically. And it was a dollar for 30 of them. There's best vocabulary, there's biggest bookworm. And like, these are just like, it's normal paper. It's not cardstock. So just photocopy it and you're ready to go. I mean, it's probably best. I know some schools don't have colored photo, like colored printers, but I just think it's so much cuter to have it in color because then it's just like a bright thing to give to your students when they do something good or when they, you know, accomplish something big. Also for a dollar, I went to Target 
last week, maybe two weeks ago. And in the dollar section, they had all of these workbooks for students. And it, you know, they had Spanish, they had language arts, math, counting, baking and cooking, like all of that stuff, telling time. And since I will be a student teacher in September in a first grade classroom, I got all the first grade books. And I did not see this one, which is rhyme time. So I picked it up. And it's really great because I can use any of this for, you know, I can photocopy it and hand it out as a worksheet. Use it as, you know, they have so many different things in here that you could use. And it, this is grades one through three. So it's not just for first grade, but it's just really great to have like a book of something because I really like to have the physical things. Digital, digital materials are very useful and convenient to use, but for some reason I just like having like a physical book to, to do stuff with. Then I got these four little reading books like fact books, Big Cats of the World, Animal Kids, um, Incredible Sea Creatures, and Puppies. And each of these comes with action videos that you can show to the students. So I just thought this was really good because they're all different reading levels. And they were, again, a dollar. This I don't know if I'm gonna use this for my classroom or if I wanna use it for my apartment. It is a notepad and it has a magnet on the back. So, I mean, you could put it on your fridge, you could put it on your whiteboard in your classroom. I just don't know what I wanna use it yet for. I mean, it's cute for either one, but I might wanna keep it on the fridge, but who knows? Then I just had to get this because it was the last one and I feel like it was calling my name. This is a little food storage container. It says awesome to the core with a cute little apple on it. And I figured that this would be a good idea. I wasn't planning on using it for food. It would be a really good idea to put like little mini erasers in it for prizes for the students or like any other prize for the students and like keep it on my desk. So I just thought, you know, this is the last one. I feel like when you see something and it's a really good price and it's the last one, just like the dollar mentality, like you just have to get it because it's like there for you for a reason. Then this is something that I'm weirdly excited about, but I got a staple gun and I'm just super excited to use it because I love making bulletin boards and I just love like cutting out letters, cutting out numbers, putting them on the board. And I feel like a staple gun is a must have for teachers because you could do anything with it. Then I got a bunch of decorations. This, so since I was little, I've always been obsessed with the weather, like obsessed. I would always go on, read the weather to my parents, to my grandparents and just obsess over it. So I knew that I wanted to have a section in my classroom that focused on the weather. So I found this Astro Brights weather, like what the weather today is, and it comes with six little magnetic squares of different types of weather. So there's partly sunny, snow, windy, sun, rain, and cloudy. And you put this on the board, this is also magnetic, and then you put whatever type of weather it is right next to it. This is so cute. And I found so many different things for the weather on Amazon that I put on my wish list. But when I saw this in Target, I was like, this is just like, it's so bright and it's small enough, but like big enough to, you know, it's just, I think it's a good addition to the classroom. Then I got this cute canvas sign that I just thought was a cute piece of decor for the classroom to kind of have. I really like black and white decorations and then adding splashes of color in here and there. So I thought this really went well with what I want the theme of my classroom to be because I really like everything to be colorful and attract the attention of students. 
but at the same time, I want like that contrast of, you know, having this, but then having some color in with it. These two are probably my favorite purchases from Target. It's a three count of classroom decor. And this one is Inspire, Play and Create, but you can just see the Inspire. And once again, it's very colorful. And then I got something similar to it. Learn, read, and explore. And here you can see the learn. And I really like how the other two are kind of plaid and polka dot. Because it gives like the different, the different, it's not just like plain color, it's different patterns. And I really like that. Then I got these two um, packages of 69. They were $4, I think. This focuses on bowels and it's just little cards of helping the students practice their vowel sounds. And then this one, which is something that we are actually focusing on this upcoming school year with my student teaching is the social emotional aspect of the classroom. And I found that this, it's common strategies for the classroom. And I knew I just had to get it because I mean, I could use it as a student teacher. I could bring it into the classroom to demonstrate these strategies. And then I can always use them in my own classroom. Last but certainly not least, I got a five pocket organizer. And once again, I just knew I had to have this because it's a black organizer and each of the folders are different colors so it really stands out. So the example here is that it's five pockets, so each pocket represents a different day of the week. So this would be nice to hang like on the board or behind my desk or something to organize the different worksheets or plans that I have throughout the week. And this was, I think this was $4 as well, but I'm so excited to use it. I might not use it until like December, but that's okay because I got it now and I'm ready to use it whenever I can use it. So, oh, I have one more thing that isn't really like spectacular, but I got this folder. It was like a dollar and it was really cute, but you know, I was kind of doing things in order of like, okay, this, you know, was a little thing that I got. And then the last thing was supposed to be like something big, but folders, I needed a new folder and I forgot about it. So, but yeah, so those are all the things that I got in Target. Are you laughing? Get out of here. Yeah, I heard you laugh. Yeah, I heard you laugh. Thank you for watching. If you really like this video, you can like it down below or you can subscribe if you're really interested in what I have to say. Not sure what my other videos will be about, but I'll try to post, you know, once or twice a week to to get you excited. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.